IRS, we've been talking about this Astros team more and more who have really, you know, kind of offered up a legitimate case, I think, over maybe the last, I don't know, month of baseball maybe, at least, where they could reasonably be World Series favorites. No, and they're a really good baseball team. 52-27 and 27 now in the season, doing damage against good baseball teams where we saw them against the New York Mets and also the New York Yankees, and then certainly handling their business against lower-rung teams. And yesterday, I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there with a parlay piece on the Houston Astros as you're watching going, oh, man, they got destroyed mm -hmm. today yet again, coming back with another big walk-off performance in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's just doing is astounding to me because this is one of those organizations where you look at, and if you try to equate it, let's just say, to the Washington Nationals. Right, you lose a lot of star players, but still able to hold above water. Well, at least until this year, at this point, you lose Bryce Harper, then you go win a World Series. They lost a lot of big pieces off that pitching staff and in that lineup. And here they are today, still one of the better teams in baseball. It's incredible what they're doing, but that's a show of you know strength here from that organization that lose a top player, replace him with another, and you don't miss a beat. And Jordan Alvarez is up to plus 750 to win that AL MVP. We know he's going to legitimately be in that race. I think, obviously, Judge and Otani are out ahead, but we know they're going to be involved.